everyone, and welcome to The Mindful Musician. I'm Cosmin, I'm a guitarist, I'm a singer, a professional educator, and a martial artist from Bucharest, Romania, and today I will show you how the Aeolian, or the natural minor mode, can be used to play a solo over a riff built from the notes of the same mode. In the previous videos, we have explored the minor pentatonic scale on top of which I have added various intervals to create hexatonic versions, that means six note versions, of the minor modes derived from the natural major scale. In today's video, I want to show you how I use the minor pentatonic scale while also highlighting major seconds and minor sixths this time, thus the Aeolian mode and occasionally a flat fifth as a passing tone. Check out the Dorian version right here, which I have already done, so that you may have a comparison for the one we're analyzing today. I will be moving around horizontally, crossing more positions, and while that is something that is pretty much worth taking into account from a technical standpoint, I'm urging you to pay attention by listening to phrasing and rhythm rather than paying attention to the visual aspect of playing. I'll be using the key of A and I'll also have the tabs for the riff behind the solos in the extended version of the lesson on Patreon, which you can find in the link in the text description below. Now for the theoretical aspects. A minor pentatonic is root, flat third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and flat seventh. That means A, C, D, E, and G. And A aeolian, or A natural minor, is one, major second, flat third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, flat sixth, flat seventh, which means A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And just as last time, the flat fifth is E flat. The chord progression underlining the riff is A minor, D minor, seven this time. That is a one minor, four minor type of progression, which happens to be one of the most popular Aeolian chord progressions found in many famous songs. Although having other chords involved as well, such as the case of The Thrill Is Gone. <laughs> And if you want to learn more about how to build modal chord progressions, I have a video about that, which you can look at right here. Let's see and hear the solo and also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Mindful Musician if you're learning the good stuff here. Thank you. Now let's break it down into sections and see where the important intervals are coming in. That sums it up, so I hope that now that you have a better understanding on how to actually involve the Aeolian mode into your own solos, and if you want to play alongside me at a slowed down tempo as well as use tabs in Guitar Pro and PDF format plus backing tracks at various tempos, click on the link in the text description below to the lesson on the Patreon page, and just as the last time, I would very much love to see and hear your Aeolian solos, which you've written using this same backing track. So feel free to record, post them here on YouTube, and drop a link in a comment to this video. I'll see you in the next one, and until then, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Mindful Musician to support us. Thank you so much. <laughs>